Eric Mwada with Mwada.com. You had asked a question and this is a follow-up and an answer to your question about whether we can use the recent daily closing high there and that was at 8.30, 8.30. The question is if the stock moves above that if it is a breakout. Is it a breakout? The answer is yes and no. In the true sense of a breakout, I would say it is not. And let me explain that again is when you're looking for breakouts, you want to use three points. Point number one is the highest monthly closing high, which would be the breakout above that. So this monthly closing high here about two months ago was at a price of 9.15. So this is your target breakout. And the movement above that would be a true breakout. And if you are a momentum player, that would be your focus on the monthly chart. If you don't get the timing correct on the monthly, for example, even you can see here, if you go back, there was a breakout during this point, the beginning of 2015. And at some point during this phase, the stock did continue moving higher. So there were other breakout levels, especially potentially on the weekly. So the point is, if you don't get the breakout on the monthly, your next level up is the weekly. And here we can see that this is the highest weekly closing high. So if you miss the monthly at 9.15, your next true breakout on a weekly chart is going to be at 9.58, which is this weekly closing high there. Now, if you miss that, your last chance is based on the daily closing high, which in this instant is here and it is ways off. So you can see here that you are better off using the monthly because the monthly is generally going to give you an earlier entry point. And here, if you're going to have to wait for the daily, the true breakout, and I'm talking about true classic breakout, is when a stock moves above previous closing highs on the monthly, weekly, and daily. In this instant, this would be your entry point at 9.71. So between the weekly, daily, and monthly, obviously, your monthly is a better view. And so from a classical point of understanding a breakout, you want to be looking to, towards the previous major weekly closing highs. Yes, if I go to a six months view, so let's go to six months on this chart just to explain something here. And you are talking about this breakout past this recent daily closing high. Now, yes, you can use it. Is it a breakout in the true sense? No. But can you use it? Yes, because if the stock is going to come back here, maybe even higher, it has to clear short-term daily closing highs. So yes, you can use it to gauge the strength. But I think sometimes this can throw you off because if it continues being volatile here, you might get frustrated. Yet the stock is in a consolidation phase. And you need to qualify your approach or your view of a stock based on true legit breakout levels. But to answer your question of whether it is a breakout or not, yes. A breakout can be anywhere. Uh, as an example, we can take any point on this chart. Was this a breakout past this daily closing high when it broke out here? Yes. Was this a breakout here? Yes. So all these are breakouts. You can draw multiple breakouts here. All of them are valid. So I would not say that any previous daily closing high, a breakout above any previous daily closing high is a bad way to time the market. Definitely not, but it's just perspective. So when you use the monthly, which is what is in front of us, you see that this is, this is going to be the next buy point. And again, on the weekly, this is going to be the next weekly buy point. And on the daily, we were talking about this level here. Now there's some series of videos I have where I talk about primary lines 
And so if you go to my YouTube channel, you can search up primary lines as a topic that would help you understand how to gauge some other perspective of a breakout. And to summarize it, to be very honest, it is very simple. All you have to do is wait for a stock to move above a trend line that connects all time highs. So let's get this right. So a trend line is a trend line connecting all time highs. And that's very important. All time highs in a stock in the price or if it connects to three year oh why are three year highs again three year highs or three year lows so it's a primary line if it connects all time highs all time lows or three year high three year lows and that series of videos is going to explain that in depth but generally speaking for example if we take a look at a long term monthly view for nvax just want to show you this is an all time daily closing high without going into detail because the series of videos i'm talking about does explain this you can see that if we do a trend line connecting for example this closing high here and this closing high and we project this lower we can see that there was a breakout above the trend line here just like this was a trend line connecting more than three years worth of high so at this point this was the highest close in more than three years so any trend line during this move here moving above this range was a buy signal why do i bring up this primary line understanding because right now we are looking at NVAX and this is the highest daily close in more than three years. In fact, going back many years. So we can use this as a primary trend line. Anytime you see that it can move above this range, connecting the prior daily closing highs. Remember when you're drawing a trend line, you take the daily closes. So let's just say trend line looks like that you're gonna want to connect the daily closing or the weekly closing if it's a weekly 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 chart you're looking at so it has to connect daily closes so that you can be able to draw a line and you want there to be at least three points of data points so you can have confirmation that the line you are drawing is legit because the problem is sometimes you have two points and any two points are going to form a straight line. So that's the issue. If you can get a third point on your chart that confirms that the line is legit. Just as an example, you can see here we take the daily closing high there, daily closing high there. And I believe if I draw a straight line, it might connect to another daily closing high. I guess actually what happens is I see that there's a daily closing high here, here and one slightly there. So the breakout above that trend line is legit if this is a closing high going back at least three years. That's the key. I, and I only mention this because when you are looking at a chart, and so for example, if a stock has been going and making new highs, it pulls back just like in the case of NVAX and so has a daily closing high there, moves back again and now is attempting to break out above recent daily closing highs. Your question, it's a good question, was should we look at any slight movement above recent daily closing highs as being critical? I say it depends. If this daily closing high here is at least three year, three years, three year highs, or at least is the highest close in three years, then you can look for a trend line break. And once you can get a trend line, any movement above that line would be a buy signal. So if it moves above this line, that's a buy signal. But, and so which means that any breakout 
past recent daily closing highs is also legit. Now, I'm not trying to confuse you. I'll show you an example. Some of these things always need examples. Recently, we were looking at S SEO for a swing trade. And it was during this, I set an alert there. And when it moved above this daily closing high, I sent an alert to subscribers. And at least there was an opportunity of owning the stock from $80 all the way to 100 in a couple of days. That's a big gain, almost 25%. Okay, the reason why that was legit is this was the all time daily closing high. And so any trend line that we draw connecting that line like that, any movement above this line is a primary breakout. And so any subsequent movement in price above this recent, so this movement here above this daily closing high was legit because we had already seen a primary trend breakout. I hope that makes sense. As of right now, my point is, it would make no sense to use this recent daily closing high here for an entry like that. So I, in my opinion, there's no point to buy the stock during the next breakout, let's say above this recent daily closing high here at about 73, why? Because the primary trend line, if we take this daily closing high and this daily closing high, the primary trend line is now here. Because that's what is connecting this important daily closing high, which is important because it's at least three year high or all time high. So the trend line has moved and is now here. So you cannot use this. In other words, if you want to find great moving stocks, you are better off insisting on stocks that have a primary trend line break. Now let's go back to NVAX. Just a little bit of an explanation here. If we go to the monthly again, just wanna show you how this plays out. A lot of data points here. For example, this here was the all time high in 96. And at some point, there is a breakout above this trend line. So that's a good buy signal because it's a primary trend line break. And you can see the stock went on to record a good gain. Now, you can also see some bearish setups. And I'll, so first and foremost, let's take a look at the bull, bullish breakouts. Again, there's another primary trend line break. Why is it primary? Because it connects to this all time high. And so, when it moves above this trend line here, that's a buy. Again, we see this is, let's take another example. This breakout, this high formed a trend line here. And once it broke out, and this is a monthly chart, you can see we had a nice run. And then there's another high here, which is more than three years. And so during this breakout here, you can see that it coincides with the primary trend line. Why is it primary? Because this closing high is at least three years old. That makes sense. And recently, like I spoke earlier, there is another breakout here. So that's a primary breakout. I hope that makes sense. Now, that's the bullish primary trend lines. If we take a look for the sake of explaining this from the bearish side is this was the all time monthly closing low. So any trend line breaking this line connecting the previous all time monthly closing low, you can see clearly that the break at that point was primary. You had a major drop. You come here, you record another major three year low on the monthly. Any trend line break of that led to a big drop in price. You do the same thing, all time monthly closing lows at the time there, late 2005. There was a primary break on many occasions, primary break here. All these are primary break because they connect to a serious all time price low at the time. And in each instant, you can see prices went lower on a monthly chart. 
Again, there's another all-time monthly closing low. You break a trend line, for example, here, you see that that result was a major drop. There's also another break here of a major trend line for another major drop. So, what I am saying is anybody looking to look for a major sell signal in this stock is going to have to do a trend line here. This trend line right now connects to this low. And yet we haven't seen any major trend line break, so this stock has not given any major sell signal. Now, I don't want to confuse you too much, but let's take a look at AGO as an example. So, this was the all-time weekly closing high. And you can see that when it broke out and had a nice run, there was a trend somewhere you can draw a trend like that. And as an example, you can draw the line in many points, but this was a breakout past a previous all-time connecting primary line to an all-time high. There's also RSI breaking out above a primary trend line because this is the line connecting the highest point in the RSI, but that's for another day. The RSI also plays a part, but this breakout was legit. Now, from a timing perspective, you can time the next breakout after the main breakout. This is the major breakout to all-time highs. The next breakout was here after two weeks of rest. So that's the minimum requirement. Okay. Now you see that there was another breakout after one week of rest. That's not a breakout. On the weekly, you need at least two weeks of rest for the breakout to be considered a fresh breakout. Here we had only one week of rest and then another breakout. So this was a continuation. The next breakout is here and you can see it had two weeks of rest. So this was a legit breakout. Even though it was not the most successful, the stock moved from 120 all the way to about 139. Still a good gain, but that was a legit breakout. So from a breakout perspective, if you are timing this stock, this is what I'm getting at. This is an all-time weekly closing high. So if you draw a primary trend line like this, you can see that if at some point the stock breaks out above this primary trend line, that would give an opportunity for a big move higher. That's the theory. So you can go in instances like this and look for a daily breakout. And maybe if you see it break out now, the daily has an all-time daily closing high here, somewhere there. And so if that daily was to break out, oops, if that daily was to break out, it would have to break out about this primary trend line. So there's no reason, in my opinion, to buy this breakout right now past this recent daily closing high here. It's not legit, in my opinion, because you want to be showing signs of breaking out above a primary trend line first before you start using recent daily closing highs. So at some point, to explain this, if this stock was to come and move above this primary trend line, settle down for a couple of days, so make a, make a closing high, settle down, you want to buy the next breakout because that breakout would be after the stock has already given a breakout above the primary trend line. So to answer your question and to go back to NVAX, the true breakout is on the weekly, monthly, and on the daily. But for your situation, which is the question whether this is a breakout past this recent daily closing high, you know, I say I'm not too keen on it. Just because we haven't seen at least a good primary trend line with more than a couple of three points. This daily closing high, maybe a daily closing high there. So yes, if we are to be technical, you can argue, you know what, Eric, this is a primary trend line. Why? Because it connects to a high that is three years old and any movement above that line is considered a primary trend line. And I think I would agree with that. So yes, maybe in this instant, you can use this breakout past the recent close at $8.30. 
but don't be too putting too much weight on it because the true breakout is at 915 which is this recent monthly closing high now the one thing I would like you to be doing is as much as possible to be going back to the monthly chart as your default and your best entry level best entry price for example this is a current monthly chart for the Nasdaq you can see that on the monthly it is already above the prior monthly closing high that's at about 4960 I believe so it's already above that so this is giving you an earlier entry point on the Nasdaq if somebody was playing the breakout on the Nasdaq if you take a look at the Nasdaq on a weekly chart you'll see that it has yet to break out that's the daily let's go to the weekly and we see that on the weekly the buy point has yet to be broken or at least the market has yet to clear the breakout at 5026 which is slightly higher than the monthly chart so you get an earlier entry point by using the monthly first the weekly is your second best idea and you can see here it gives you an earlier entry point we can see that from the daily now on the daily that the Nasdaq has the same buy point as the weekly which is okay so you start with the monthly for a buy point you go to the weekly then the dailies the best example I can show you recently is KOLD one that we've been watching if you take a look at the stock from a monthly viewpoint we had an earlier entry point there at about $85 that was the previous monthly closing high or at least recently now even on this example let's go and take a look at this let's go a couple of years so we can look at the primary trend line yes any breakout because this is an all-time daily closing high or weekly closing excuse me monthly closing high so this is a primary trend line break at this point right there is another primary trend line break recently here so as the stock is moving above all these primary trend lines it has a chance of recording a strong move and so anyway not to confuse you but the point here I'm trying to make is that here is a perfect example where the monthly chart gives you a nice earlier buy point at $85 the stock is now trading at 95 so that's 10 points and yet as of right now this past week we see that the stock is just now clearing the weekly breakout so the monthly breakout was at 85 somewhere here and then 10 points later it is now breaking out above the recent weekly closing high so what I'm getting at here is your default should always be on the monthly and then on the weekly and then on the daily I think if we put too much emphasis on the daily we sometimes lose the perspective of a stock now in conclusion I think it's important for me to go back and explain that for this video to make sense you need to spend some time checking out the primary trend lines video on my YouTube channel because that would make a lot of sense as to why whenever you're looking for a buy signal in a stock you are better off buying the major breakout so buying the major breakout makes more sense in the sense that that breakout is more relevant because if you wait to buy a breakout lower here all these daily closing highs even though they are legit every time it moves above either of these recent daily closing highs even though they are legit to put things in perspective and for you to be in the best light you want there to be at least a primary trend line so that you're not just buying a weak breakout if you want to buy the strongest breakout you have to put into consideration where the monthly charts are trading where the weekly charts are trading and also you want to understand where primary trend lines come into play Eric Moade if you have any question let me know good luck peace and blessings Woo!